next question is there on your screen so this question was part of the uh, daily test so all those of you who have taken the daily test should be able to know how to solve it try out this one how do you solve this a father left a will of rupee 68000 to be divided between his two sons aged 10 years and 12 years such that they may get equal amount when each attains 80, age of 18 years if the money is reckoned at 10 percentage per annum find how much each gets at the time of his will so to solve this question if you understand the question it is very easy to solve see what is given the father is totally leaving 68000 rupees for both his sons so one son is aged 10 years and the other son is aged 12 years so the first son right in how many years will he become 18 years in 8 years he will become 18 years old the second son in how many years will he become 18 years old in uh, 6 years right he was going to become 18 years old so I am assuming that he is giving x rupees to his first son and he how much uh, money is he giving to his second son 68,000 minus x now this is basically put in the bank okay and when the at 10 percentage per annum and when uh, both of the children right when they respectively become 18 years okay they will get the same amount so what does that mean the interest that both of these calculate that is basically uh, both these amounts right get 10 percentage interest okay both these amounts get 10 percentage interest and at the end the, this will become to certain amount that will be equal to the amount that the second one becomes so that's what you have to equate here now what is the interest that you will get here on the first amount that is x rupees at 8 percentage of interest for 10 years that is nothing but x into uh, 8 into 10 by 100 this is the interest that you will get in the first amount or this is the interest right now what is the total amount that you will get at the end of 8 years for the first son he will get the principal plus the interest correct or I can say he will get x into 1 plus 80 by 100 correct this is the amount that he will get at the end of 8 years right x into 1 plus 80 by 100 now what is the amount that the second person will get at the end of 6 years he is going to invest it only for 6 years because in 6 years he is going to turn 18 right so for this 68,000 minus x rupees he it is invested for 6 years at a rate of 10 percentage per annum interest so the amount that he will get finally is nothing but 68,000 minus x right plus 68,000 minus x into 6 into 10 by 100 right or again you, you didn't write it in so many steps I am writing it so that it's clear to you okay what will he get he'll get 68,000 minus x into 1 plus 60 by 100 so what is given in the question is that these two are the same so if these two are the same you have to just equate these two that is x into 1 plus 80 by 100 that is 180 by 100 okay 180 x by 100 that is equal to equate this okay this is equal to this directly you can equate it like this and you have to find out the value of x so okay I calculate so this is the concept that is involved you can also look at the options and arrive at the answer right that would be that would also be a faster way to solve this question so you can check that with options also that will that will be a faster way to solve so when you actually solve it you will get x as uh, 32,000 and 68,000 minus x as 36,000 so the correct answer here will be option c so if you check it this way no see what you can do is you i have 32,000 rupees right 32,000 rupees it is there in the bank for eight years at what uh, rate of interest 10 percentage so wh uh, what will be the uh, what I mean what will it account to check that similarly check for 36,000 for six years at 10 percentage see what uh, what they are trying to say in this question is that a father is giving two sums for two children he is giving x rupees for one child and 68,000 minus x rupees for another child when he is dying now this money is invested in the bank and when both the sons stay in, turn 18 they will get this money back what they are saying in the question is that when both the sons turn 18 the money that they get respectively is the same so what does that mean see for the first son it is going to take eight years for him to turn 18 so this x rupees is invested at for eight years at an interest of 10 percentage okay for the second son he will turn 18 in six years so the 68,000 minus x rupees which was given to him is invested for six years at a rate of 
10 percentage. Now, the amount that the first son gets is so much. The amount that the second son gets is so much. You equate these two, they have to be the same. Okay, so that is what they have given. Now, if you equate this, you will actually get 32 and 36,000. Now, if you are checking with options, how will you do it? See, the first son I am assuming is getting 32,000. So, what will happen? This 32,000, he will be investing it for uh, how many years? He is investing it for uh, 6 years, correct? How much uh, get at the time of, okay. This is uh, 6 years, it is invested for at a period of, I mean for 10 percentage. Okay, so uh, what I mean, this will account to what? 32 into 60 by 100 or 60 percentage of 32,000. How much does that account to? So what will be the final amount that he gets? Calculate that. Similarly, here 36,000 rupees is in, given to the second son. So that is invested for how many years? Sorry, this is 8 years, no? This is 8 years. Here this is invested for 6 years. So 6 years at 10 percentage per annum. What is the interest that he will get? Equate that. Uh, 32,000 plus 25,600. So finally the first per at the end, okay, the first child will also get 57,600 rupees, second child will also get so much. Is it clear? See, this how much will he get? Solve for this, that's all. This will get 25,000, 25,600, right? That is the interest that he gets. So what is the final amount that the first son will get? He will get 32,000 plus 25,600, correct? Now, what will the second son get? He will get 36 into uh, 6, that is uh, 216, right? 21600. So, what will be the final amount that he gets? He will get 36,000 plus 21600. Now, these two are the same. So, that's why this option is correct, okay? Hope it is clear. That's how you do it when you check with options. You can uh, put different, uh, check with all the options, this would be the correct one. Because this is very calculative, no? this method would be easier to do. Okay.